So let's use Lerp to make a ship path on our screen. The main idea is the ship can start at any of these four locations, and the four locations don't necessarily have to be in these locations. They're just easy for me to figure out. But essentially, I want the ship to one ship, not this ship, but a different ship to pass from here to here to here to here. And I can have as many points as I want to, but essentially I want the ship to follow the path and connect the dots for us. These look like points, but as you hopefully understand by now, each point is actually a vector, so I shall draw the actual vectors to these locations as much as possible. And then... Uh, if I take the difference between these two vectors, or I say lerp from this vector to this vector, I essentially want the ship to follow that red vector there, the difference between these, those two vectors. And then once we hit this point, I want the ship to lerp like so. And so my destination vector all of a sudden becomes my source vector, and then this vector right here becomes my destination vector. So on and so forth. I want to lerp around uh, essentially connecting the dots here. So that's our main goal. I was also looking at this MyGL window and noticing it's getting quite kludgy, quite clungy, quite full of stuff. We've just been throwing code in here. At some point we're going to have to do a refactor and I don't think that point is too far out. But anyway, we shall go on. Down here, vector 3D, lerp points. Uh, array gets, let's go, I'm using control down arrow to scroll, control enter vector 3D, 0.0F, 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 comma, control L, control V, 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 and this first point here, let me bring our game screen back up, this first point right here is about 0.5 0.5, and then this one is going to be negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then this one down here, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. Then this last one will be 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. So going along that line, I'm going to fill in these values. I guess I should have put all my 0.5s in before I copied and pasted this vector 3D. But anyway, negative 0.5. This one's going to be super negative, and then the last one will be 0.5, and this will be negative 0.5. And just because I'm picky like I do up here, I want to add plus signs so all the numbers line up. Don't blink, I'm going to type really fast. I wish I coded that fast in real life. So there you go, there are all of our alert points. And then down here in our update, after we do all the ship stuff and all the regular gameplay stuff down here, I'm going to say lerp the lerper. And this will be a function in our GL window H file. We'll put it right here, void lerp the lerper. Control L, Control V. I just did that to copy the line real quick. And then down, let's see, do GL, do GL right here. I shall put lerp the lerper. My GL window. And I think that should be good. So we essentially need a vector 3D. I will make this const. Vector 3D source gets lerp points sub. We don't have a index to keep track of which one we're lerping from and which one we're lerping to. So we shall put that at the top of the file. Uh, where's those lerp points? Right here. So, uh, uint. I think we have uint. uint source lerp point control LVV destination lerp point. And I'm not going to set these here. I'm going to initialize them in the initialize function, which will We'll do. Hopefully, we'll do before we actually try running this. But knowing me, I'll probably forget. Const vector 3D source lerp points like so. Control L, Control V V, and this will be our destination. Destination lerp point. We'll call this destination. 
And now we need a location for the ship. So when we lerp, let's say we're going to lerp from this. Vector will be our source. This will be our destination. Uh, we need an alpha value. We didn't do an alpha value. Let's put alpha here as well. Float alpha, which we'll initialize in the initialization function as well. With that alpha, the alpha is going to determine whether how far we are lerped across between the source vector and the destination vector. But either way, we're going to get another vector. Let's say alpha is 0.75. That would put us roughly right there. So our positional vector would be 0.75 lerped between source and destination. We need a location vector, current lerp location. So I think we'll just vector 3D current lerper position. How about that? And that should be good. So current lerper position gets lerp uh, alpha source destination. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward there. But before we do all this, we should update alpha. And I think I'll have alpha go with the clock. That should, that should, you know what? I don't like this name alpha. Let's call it lerp alpha. You see me trying to just name all the lerp stuff with lerp inside of it. Just because I'm trying to avoid some name clashes here, I think there may be an alpha in something I include or something like that. And that's another code smell that this code file is getting a little bit too big. We should fix that, and we will. Lerp, lerp alpha, and then right here I'm going to say lerp alpha plus equals clock dot last lap time. So that essentially means alpha should move at the speed of one per second, no big deal. And then if lerp alpha, if lerp alpha is greater than or equal to 1.0, then we know we've gone too far. I guess we could go greater than 1.0, but that doesn't make sense. But we need to reset lerp alpha to zero and we need to target the next lerp point which is a function we haven't written yet but we will let me go put this up here in our header file and then put it down here this is getting a little hard to follow lerp the lerper uh, if we're at the end of the lerp we're at the end of the current vector that we're lerping across, then we need to uh, change our source and our destination. So target next lerp point, and we're good to go. So if we're at let's 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 put the ind indices. This is lerp point zero, lerp point one, lerp point two, lerp point three. So we want to go zero to one, and then once we're once we hit one, we want to go one to two, then we want to go two to three, and then we want to go three to zero. So generally we're just incrementing the target, except for right here we're going three to zero, and so we'll use the modulus operation to wrap us back around. Not too big of a deal. Let me bring that up. And then did we track the number of alert points? Did I add that in here? Nope, I didn't. Okay. Const uint num lerp points. We need num lerp points to do the modulus operation to get from 3 to 0. And this will be size of control U. Uh, size of lerp points. Oh, come on. Lerp points divided by size of star lerp points. You've seen this trick several times. I hope you understand it by now. Let's go back down. Target next lerp points. So you know what? I'm gonna. Sorry, I have to. I do need to reference this up higher. Uh, destination lerp point. So destination lerp point. I want to say plus plus, and that would say take us around, but then we wouldn't get from three to zero. So let's do destination lerp point gets destination lerp point plus one mod the number of lerp points, but before we do that, we want to set our source lerp point to be the same as our destination lerp point. Let me describe what's going on here. Say our destination is 2 and our source is 1, but then we finally reach 2. Then what we're going to do is change our source to 2, 
So now 2 is our source, and then we'll move destination up by 1 to 3 in this case. But once we hit 3, then 3 plus 1 will be 4, and 4 mod 4 will be 0, and that will put us back at 0. So that works out quite nicely. And I think that's it. There's probably, I don't know, with my luck, there's going to be a bug. I, I do remember, though, we need to do our initialization. So let's... Uh, that's fine. This is the uh, OpenGL initialization. Where's ah? Here it is. Initialize. Another another thing that makes the code smell bad is I have to search around. I have two initialize. I have two updates. I ah, oh, what a headache. We need to we need to go fix all that. But in the meantime, we're going to say our source alert point is zero, and our target uh, our target next alert point. Is that what I call it? Oh no, that's our function. Let's uh it's destination alert point. Destination alert point, that will get one. In fact, it would make me feel better to say source alert point plus one, but then uh, you know what? Let's just do this. We wrote the function, let's use it. Target next alert point, and we'll set the destination alert point to be one. That might even feel worse. Whatever. I know if my, my destination's set, then target next alert point will figure out the next one to go to. And I think that's it. Let's see if it builds. Of course it doesn't build, because the game's still running in the background. Let me clear that off. Build. Build started. Build succeeded. Uh, if we run it, though, we're not going to see anything lurping around the screen, because we haven't drawn the ship lurping. And so... In the next video, we'll actually do the drawing and see if we can watch that ship lurp around the screen. Should be a lot of fun.